In this video, we are going to derive the formula of the energy lost of the hydraulic jump in a rectangular channel. This is the free body diagram of the hydraulic jump. This is the depth for the jump. We let that one as our Y1. And this is the depth after the jump. And this is our Y2. So we have here our velocity before the jump and this is our velocity after the jump okay if we let this one as our section one and as our section two so if we have to take the energy equation between one and two okay, or energy equation Okay, between 1 and 2 so we have here with in reference to the bed of the channel you have the specific energy is equal to y1 plus v1 squared over 2g is equal to y2 plus v2 squared over 2g plus head loss so head loss is equal to y1 plus v1 squared over 2g okay okay minus y2 plus v2 squared over 2g so this is just the specific energy before the jump and that is the specific energy after the jump so if you observe the energy the specific energy before the jump is greater than the specific energy after the jump because it will lost its energy after the jump will occur so may, you can express it loss as equal to the difference between the specific energy of before the jump and after the jump but we will proceed we will express our head loss in terms of the depth before the jump y1 and the depth and the depth after the jump which is y2 so we have to simplify this one so we have head loss is equal to y1 minus y2 plus v1 squared over 2g minus so this is v2 minus v2 squared over 2g okay so from continuity equation okay this will be our equation one so from I have to write this equation one. So from continuity equation continuity equation since we are dealing water here and uh, water is incompressible the density are equal at any point of the channel so q1 is equal to q2 okay then that is e q1 is equal to e1 times v1 and it is e2 v2 
So, here since our channel is a rectangular channel. So, we have here a rectangular channel with the Y and we have here the width of the channel. So, we have for the area, we have BY1, V1 is equal to BY2, V2. Okay, we are talking the same channel for the entire the same sizes or the same channel for the entire reach of the canon. So we have here constant width. So what we have, okay, your V2 will be equal to Y1, Y2, V1. So we will substitute this from our equation 1. Okay, from equation 1, okay, you have head loss to y1 y1 minus y2 plus okay v1 squared okay okay plus v1 squared over 2g V1 squared okay, V1 squared over 2G over 2G minus V2 so you have 1 over 2G okay, times okay, you have Y1 Y2 so you have Y1 over y2 v1 squared okay then this will be equal to y1 y2 plus we have v1 squared over 2g minus 2g times y1 squared over y2 squared v1 squared Okay, we can simplify that one. So we have y1 minus y2. Okay, plus. So we can make this as one term. Plus v1 squared over 2g times 1 minus y y1 squared over y2 squared okay okay we have that one then where our we derive this one so you have to review again the formula of v1 squared for the hydraulic jump which is equal to one half g y2 y1 times y1 plus y2 so we have to substitute this again so maybe we can say that this is our equation 2 so okay you have your equation 2 So from equation two, okay, head loss is equal to y1 minus y2 plus okay, 1 over 2g times 1 half g y2 y1 times y1 plus y2. Okay, times times 1 minus y1 squared over y2 squared okay, I have to write clearly okay, y2 squared okay so we have y1 minus y2 ok 
okay plus we have one four one fourth so we can cancel the gravitational acceleration so we can also okay, we have one over four okay, we have y2 over okay, you have y2 over y1 okay, that can be cancelled okay, times y1 plus y2 okay so we can make this one like this y squared y2 y squared that is y2 squared minus y1 squared all over y2 squared okay so this can be cancelled so this can be cancelled and you have also here but you left power of one so you have y1 minus y2 plus one fourth okay one fourth so we can okay we can have this one one fourth y1 y2 times y1 plus y2 okay, times y2 squared minus y1 squared okay so we have this one we can simplify this okay we can simplify this one so we can write this okay, like this plus y1 plus y2 times y2 squared minus y1 squared divided by 4 y1 y2 okay so we have now this equation we can simplify this again so we have 4 y1 y2 times y1 y2 plus y1 plus y2 times y2 squared minus y1 squared all over 4 y1 y2 okay so here we can have 4 y1 y2 okay so times y1 that is y squared minus 4y1 y2 squared plus okay so this is y1 okay y2 squared minus okay minus y1 cube plus y3 uh, sorry y y2 cube minus y1 squared y2 okay so we will have this one we substitute we distribute sorry we distribute okay. so we have y1 y2 squared minus y1 squared okay plus y2 cube minus y1 squared y2 okay so i hope you get it okay so all over okay this is all over okay all over 4y1 y2 okay this will be okay we can simplify this one by adding like terms 
So we have here y1 squared, y1 squared. Okay, so you have this one. Okay, they are like terms. So we have, okay, you have 4y1, y2. So 4y squared, y2 squared. Okay, that is 3y1 squared y2. Then you have this one. Okay, they are like terms. So minus 3y1 y2 squared. Okay, next minus y1 cube plus y2 cube okay this is our head loss but we can still simplify this one is if you observe this is in the form of the cube of the difference of the two numbers so we have okay we have the difference of the or the cube of the difference of the two numbers so we have this we can simplify this one to b cube minus b cube minus 3ab times a minus b so we have a cube minus b cube okay we have the, to distribute 3ab squared b we have plus 3ab squared so that is our formula for the cube of the difference of the two numbers so if we let a is equal to y2 and b is equal to y1 so we can have y2 minus y1 cube that is equal to y2 cube minus y1 cube minus 3 y2 squared y1 plus 3 y2 y1 squared so looking back to our equation for the head loss we will check y2 we have here positive y2 cube then we have negative y1 cube we also have negative y1 cube then we also have negative 3y2 squared y1 so we also have here negative and we have 3y2 y1 squared so we also have that one so therefore our head loss is just equal to y2 minus y1 cube divided by 4y1 y2 so this is the head loss or the energy loss of the hydraulic jump in terms of the depth after and before the jump will occur okay so we have this this formula for finding the head loss of the jump thank you for listening and for watching my video God bless.